Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Yimmi for Computer Basics for School Students. Today we will be learning Chapter 1, Computer in Modern Machine from the course book Computer in Action published by Pearson Publications. I'm here with you to help the school students on learning basics of computers and to develop skills to operate the computers in a competent and efficient way. At the end of the session, you will be able to differentiate between natural and artificial things in the sense human-made things and various types of machines and computers. Dear friends, you can see a lot of things around you in your real life. You can see a lot of things such as natural things like fruits, trees, flowers, vegetables, sun, moon, stars, birds, animals, fish, and so on. These things are existing in the nature itself and generally let's call them natural things. Apart from these stuff, you can see a lot of artificial things which are made by human beings, such as cars and other vehicles like bus, jeep, truck. Then you can see pencils, pen, watches, paper, books, table, water bottles, chair. Cupboards, smartphones, television, refrigerator, and so on. Here, friends, you can see the picture with natural things as well as human made things. So, when you go through this picture, you can see Lots of natural things such as sun, clouds, trees, flowers, plants or grass. And of course human beings, some children are playing in the park. So the children are the human beings, of course they are natural things and a little puppy. So in the sense animals such as dogs and puppies they are also human sorry they are also natural things and uh, human beings are natural things you can see a lot of um, artificial things which are made by human beings such as seesaw slides for playing bench ball and so on So I hope that you understood the differences between natural things and human-made things. Natural things are existing in the world or in the nature itself. It's not created by human beings. For example, you can see a lot of mountains, rivers, valleys, trees and plants. So these are the natural things. But the human made things are made by the people. They are made by the human beings. And here we can see so many machines are using by the millions of people in the world. So actually what's a machine? A machine is a man made thing. Of course a machine is a man made thing. Who is creating the machines? Of course, the human beings. So, it's a human-made thing. It's a man-made thing. We can see the pictures of some machines such as television, mixer grinder, washing machine and car. Dear friends, we can use the machines to save our time and to make our work easier. 
the primary use of a machine is to save our time. For example, instead of using this washing machine, if you are using your clothes with your hands, so you can find out lots of difficulties when you are doing this job of washing the clothes manually by yourself and you have to use the detergent powder and lots of water and you are working hard and at the end of the task you will be tired and exhausted. But when we are using the washing machine for the same purpose, you can realize that the job of washing the clothes is quite easier and simpler and saving your time. And you can find more time for doing other activities in your daily life. For example, if you want to go to a shopping mall which is located 5 km away from your home, and if you are walking to that shopping mall, just imagine 5 kilometers are uh, you are walking 5 kilometers and how much you'll be tired when you reach at the shopping mall you'll be totally tired but when you travel by a car or bus it's so simple it's so simple task to reach at the shopping mall which is located 5 kilometer from your home and it's making your work easier and it's saving your time. In our daily life, we can see a lot of machines. There are various types of machines in our daily life. We can see which are the various types of machines. When you look at a clock or watch, we can see that it's running on batteries. A clock is a machine which is made by the human being, right? Of course, so this clock is a machine which run on batteries. And what about the television? So here, television is also a machine which run on electricity. It needs electric current. What about bus? That's also a machine, right? It's running with its engine and the engine runs on fuel like petroleum and diesel. So some machines run on fuel. What about bicycle? Here the bicycle does not need any electricity but it needs your physical efforts to work. In general, there are various machines which run on batteries or electricity or fuel or some physical external efforts. Here we can see some examples of human made things such as table, camera, bag and books. Here we can identify some machines in this image. Here we can see the radio. Here we can see a laptop. These are the machines. And here there is a clock. There is a table lamp. There is a guitar. So these are various types of machines and the little boy is playing on his tablet. So the tablet is also a kind of machine. Here let's see various types of computers. Many of you are using this type of computer which is known as desktop computer or desktop PC. But some of you are using this type of computer which is known as laptop. 
here in this picture you can see a desktop computer system which is made up of various computer parts such as monitor, keyboard, mouse and CPU. Anyway, all of you are using a computer system for doing various tasks such as typing, sending emails, messaging, playing video games, watching cartoon channels and so on. Let's see the specialities or features of a computer system. The main characteristics of a computer system is that a computer system is following your commands. What do you mean by commands? Commands are the instructions which are given by the users to a computer system. As per the commands, the computer, is, the computer system is working for you. For example, if you want to open an email account which is created by you, what do you have to do? Just open the email account by typing your username and password through the keyboard. The computer will verify it and it will open the email account for you. So you can enter the commands through the keyboard or mouse to the computer system and the computer system is following your commands. The other characteristic of the computer system is that it can store and remember lots of information. Lots of information in the sense that a computer system can save lots of data and information such as the information about weather forecasting, climate, and so on. It can store a lot of information about any topic. But we human beings, we, can, we cannot store that much information like a computer system can do. The another characteristic of a computer system is that it can do your work so much faster Suppose if you want to do any calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication or division with big numbers, you need to calculate using calculator or if you are calculating manually, it will take a lot of time. But the computer system can do these calculations within less than factors of a second that much faster is our computer system that's so amazing right the next feature of a computer system is that the computer system never gets tired wow the computer system can work continuously and it never get tired Oh, that's so amazing, right? But we human beings, after doing the task in our daily life, we are getting tired and exhausted. And we may be feeling hungry and thirsty and we have to take lots of energy from the food stuff, right? But the computer system, it does not want any external energy source and it never gets tired and it can continuously, it can work. Wow. So my friends, I hope that you understood the features of a computer system. The first one is that the computer system can follow your commands. The second one is that the computer system can store and remember lots of information. And the third one is that the computer system can do your work so much faster and finally the computer system never get tired friends let's see the types of computers various types of computers in our daily life here in this pic we can see that these are the pics of desktop pc 
So the letters P C. What is P C? The letters in P C represents personal computer. Personal computer. And why we are calling it as desktop PC? Because the computer system which we are keeping on the desk, on the top of the desk, desk means table. That's called a desktop PC. And the desktop PC is formed by various computer parts such as keyboard, mouse, CPU, and monitor and it's so heavy and it needs electricity to run without electricity it will not work and it's so heavy because there are many various parts which are connected and it makes a desktop easy it's so heavy and we cannot carry it anywhere once it's fixed on the top of a desk that's fixed we can't take it with us to anywhere some of you are using the desktop pc at your home right but some of you are using a laptop this is a picture of laptop what's the speciality main speciality of a desktop it need it needs a battery to run that's the main speciality of a laptop and we have to charge the battery otherwise it will not work and what about its size oh wow it's so amazing when you lift a laptop you can really um, you can feel that it's so smaller and lightweight than a desktop pc